Greetings everyone, I am Kurt Dossel and welcome to a new episode of Cartercraft. I promise you we won't start every episode in my branch mine because this is in fact in my branch mine. However, um, down here working I kept hearing noises from zombies and skeletons and it was starting to annoy me. I think I finally found the source of it and my sound is a bit low. A bit too low. There we go. So, yeah, thought this was kind of awkward actually. Uh, anyway, just felt like showing you this. Moving on. Here we are, back at the base. Just looking for some stuff. Aren't we always? So I moved my netherrack to this chest. Not that much of a change to be honest. To be even uh, more frank, hardly anything has changed in my base. Between this episode and the previous one. What I did do is find this. This was the source of all those zombie sounds we kept hearing during the episodes. So I ended that problem, finally, um, let's see, do I want, yeah I want more wood, and you might wonder, what are we going to do today, especially considering the ludicrous amount of dirt I am chugging along, I also got a shovel and of course fortune too. Why not? That's just brilliant on the shovel. Because I want all that flint. No, I don't. I completely forgot what I was looking for. Ah, I remember. A boat. Hmm. Because what we're going to do today is start a new project. And not just any project. I've been mentioning that this is a temporary race for quite a while now. Apart from that, this series is called Tales of Cartonia. But what is Cartonia? Oh, we did change that. There's no obsidian here as well, it just looks neater. But as I was saying, what is Cartonia? Well, that will be the name of the city that's going to be my main base. Which we are going to start to it's getting night isn't it yes yes it is and I just realized I forgot more stuff so I'll see you on the water side and I'll continue my story then and here we are on the water side so the base I want to build is one of those two megalomanic projects I was talking about in the very first episode um, it's going to take up a lot of resources and a lot of time. I'll probably enjoy it. And the reason I'm doing this now, while we still have so much left unfinished over there, is because if I get tired of it, I can just work on those projects for a while and then return here. And where I want to build this is um, a little bit more that way, I think. I don't want to see the the other side anymore but I also don't want to get out too far so that's just not practical um, can I suffer this? yeah I think I can so I'm going to build right here can you guess what kind of base it will be? I'll leave you guessing for just a couple of seconds Alright, standing here there are three possible bases I could build that specifically requires this area. First type of base, underwater. I did a lot of underwater building in my multiplayer life, but it's a pain 
and I don't want to do it again. Second option, of course, is building a city right here on the water. Something like uh, the Water World movie, if you ever saw it. It's kind of an old movie, I suppose. The third option is in the sky, and that's where I'm going. Wait, are there no clouds? Hmm. Let's see if there are any clouds. Oh, it sounds up too high as well. Um, clouds, clouds, clouds. Ah, weird. Ah, there we are, clouds. So, on the water, on the water, and above the water. Those are three options, three general options, I suppose. And what I'm going to do, um, there was a, the, no, there's not that much of a easy way of doing this. There we go. Then I, no, yeah, I might as well use one lily pad, maybe. Not relevant. Uh, I'm going to build in the sky. I'm going to make giant floating islands on which I build my city. At least that's my plan. I've want, been wanting to do this since I played, first played Minecraft. For the first time, starting up, you know, after a couple of hours I thought I wanted to build something in the sky. I did. I did once, and it failed. Horribly. Well, it, it, it wasn't failure, it just didn't look the way I wanted to. Not at all. How high are we now? 110. I would like to go above the clouds, just because, you know, I can. Go set a target for ourselves, we might as well go above the clouds. And we're in the clouds. 128 is the height of the clouds. Which is kind of logic, since that's the old build height. Am I... Yes, I'm walking on the clouds. Marvelous. Alright. Let's go to 149, no, 150 feet position. 45. Oh, I want that a bit higher. Um, yeah, this should do. Actually, let's go back to 140. This, yeah, this will do. Reminds me of Doctor Who episode. Anyway, oh, I can see the other side from here. I do not like that. You know what? I'll just suck it. There we go. So, first things first. There are actually quite a lot of people who build islands up in the sky. So why is my build any different? Well, a couple of things. First off, a lot of people who build uh, floating islands do so with creative mode I will do no such thing as you can see this is my survival let's play so no flying I have no jetpacks I have no mining lasers <coughs> nothing that vanilla can, cannot give me which is a pain and a huge challenge but I'm actually looking forward to it so, and I've been looking online. I've been browsing around, doing some research. You know, feel like a real LP. -er. And the islands that I have seen, I think are just dumb. If you build one of those islands, then I did not see yours. Okay? <laughs> so, um, yes, most of those islands did just not conform my taste. What most people do in Minecraft is they make a uh, two, maybe three thick disc of mud and cobble and oh, blimey and call that an island I am um, that's not an island, that's a floating disc I think that's boring so 
You might just say, what are you doing now? Aren't you making a disc yourself? Well, yes. This is actually going to be my uh, work area. So I'm going to put down some chests and some stuff here. First off, a workbench, always. And then we are going to need a bunch of chests. Um, like so. That's, hmm, why not? Anyway, I'm going to dump my dirt in this side and smooth stone in this side. If I need sand, I found a place. So what I'm going to do with this is um, also place a bed and a portal. So I have easy travel between this place and my other place. Here we go. If I'm not mistaken, this portal will take me to my old nether portal, so it's important that I first write down these coordinates. Now I use pen and paper for that. Let's find some. Here we are. We have an X405, Y141 and Z1020. Nine. All right. Let's see if it automatically creates a portal at right position. That will be awesome, but I doubt it. And my doubts were justified instantly. All right. Um. Yeah, big man just entered my portal. The beast. So, next step will be to divide those coordinates by 8. Why? Well, that will be the coordinates of the portal in the nether. So, that will be 405 divided by 8, which is roughly 51. Z can be divided. And 1000... 29 divided by 8 is 129. And where am I right now? 70, 55, and 88. So it's not that far away, actually, which is both beneficial and problematic. Now, for those of you wondering why can't you divide those set coordinates, because that doesn't work that way. For every one block you move in the nether, so this one block move, and one block again, you move eight blocks in the overworld. So a portal here and a portal there will be eight blocks apart on the X, uh, on the X, and on the Z coordinate. However, the Y coordinate, if you build a portal 80 here and 80 in the overworld, they will conform. Now, my portal in the overworld is at 141. This ceiling is 128. So I just need to get a portal as close as possible. And let's dash behind, between this. Oh, I'm too far already on the Z. And, oh, <coughs> did not see that one coming anymore. No. Right, um, so that will be somewhere cast. I don't have any arrows. Somewhere here-ish. I was hoping it would connect to this thing better, but that portal is not yet in a defined position. 
So I will at one point make that match up a lot better. And I have a diamond pig with me. Alright, I'll get to a better position and I'll be right back. I did some work on the location for the portal. And that's it. I know it looks horrible right now. Still going to fill that in and it would still look... Actually, it's not that bad. Well, not the way I want it. Because I want that tower to look like it was built onto the nether forge. Like it was just part of it. Just like that. I want to change that into a way it looks like that as well. However, this tower, in the first place, is temporary. Because the portal it, I hope it will connect to is... Oh. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the portal it's going to connect to is also temporary. It's not the final position. I'm going to use this couple to construct the rest of this tower. It's a long way up and far from safe because I keep, keep getting bombarded by gas, but at least I can fall off. And that's very important to me. And here it is, and we're going to check. And I so hope it works. Yes! Victory! Awesome! Some time ago, um, before a couple, of, a couple of patches ago, you could not connect the portals above 128. Because it meant the portals can't go above 128. But they fixed that, I'm really happy. Don't even really care if this portal ends up in the other, in the tower. As long as I can get it in here. So, <coughs> islands. This portal is very poorly placed now. Right. Anyway, first island will be. Let's see, it's southwest north. I think I'll do it a bit north. Don't want it on this platform because it will go like that. As far as islands. Go, I really need to remove that. Uh, that's going to... That's going to be annoying. I'll do it off camera. Oh, so I was saying. No, not shift F3. As far as um, floating islands go, there are many different ways in which people shape the belly, the, the bottom side of it. <coughs> Three general shapes I have seen is that people build um, islands like the, a bit like this, just large tower-like structures almost. Then you have um, a bit like this. So they like a floating ball. And of course uh, like this, like a floating disc. And I don't mean the one that's just three thick, a bit more than that. That's probably a bit of the style I'm going for, a bit of a crossover between a ball and flat. And the first island I am going to construct will in fact be our storage and the island is supposed to be quite large and I need to find a somewhat central point for it let's see let's light this up the last thing I want is to get knocked off by some random monster here we go this will be the seed. There we go. This is the bottom. The lowest block of the island. And I can build my scaffolding around here and keep adding stuff. I'm getting all 
dizzy and vertigo. Anyway, I want to do this in smooth stone, but I'm wondering if you should lay out a form in different material first. Hmm, maybe I should build the top first and add the bottom after that. Yes, I think I will do that actually. So that's going to be the bottom piece. And the question of course is how high does this iron go? And I can see myself falling down here several times. I'll probably change this up with a ladder. You know what? Let's do that right away. And grab as much dirt as we can. So I'll be right back. Alright, I put a ladder up and I'm just eyeballing if I'm okay with the height of this island. Um, oh, this is in a bad position, boy. Bye. Ha ha ha. Anyway. Um, I'm going to look at some of my reference material and decide if it's okay. So, I died. Fell down the stairs. And died. Yeah. I'm pretty annoyed by that, to be honest. Because I fell down and clambered back onto the stairs and that actually killed me. Never hit the ground. I fell to my death on the stairs. Since when does that happen? I could make a bow, but I don't have any arrows either. I don't really have anything at all. Uh, I need a new bucket. So... Lost my enchanted shovel. Lost my enchanted pick. Yeah. I love it when a game is so faulty. Anyway. Um some meat. I'm really happy I made that road in the nether towards my new base or else it would have been even worse uh, ghasts, ghasts everywhere I fell down as I just mentioned and I already been there and tried to find my stuff by going down into the water but oh blimey remember the zombie big man we knocked down he was waiting there for me and he killed me killed me in the water that was just that was horrendous that really annoyed me but yeah what can you do nothing so up 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 the stairs we go once more going up the stairs much more often than down the stairs and that's not a good sign to be honest I still don't know if the portal on the island connects to this one and there we are did manage to get a bed in but yeah so I was on that, fell down and came back onto the stairs somewhere over there and died because of it I'm not going down again I refuse. My stuff might still be down there, but 
It's in the ocean. What are the chances of me still getting that back? Besides the fact there's probably still a zombie. There's a big man waiting for me. Oh well. Stuff happens. And it's almost night. Good thing I did bring it back. Also lost some dirt. Which is actually more annoying. Because I don't have that much dirt. So. Putting all that aside. And getting back to work. It's just the way the game goes sometimes. Actually. I'm working with dirt and dirt alone. Why am I carrying my enchanted pickaxe with me? Ah, that was just dumb. Ooh, bright, bright sun. Put that on the right too. I don't have any grass because I don't have any silk touch. But that's going to have to wait. I'm going to wait for daybreak to be honest. Uh, I'll see you then. So it's day and I'm starting to lay out the island. At least a small part of it. Because this island is going to be it's going to be huge. It really is. I, I don't like small islands and little bridges between lots of small islands. I don't like that. Although they're going to be small islands, the, the small I'm talking about is a bit different than the small you usually see with these kind of projects. Let's just say my small islands are going to be rather big. And this is going to be a big island. Because, yeah, well it's going to be for my storage and I need more space. So yes plan is make a layout with dirt and build the the belly of this thing after that after I place my dirt I probably will have to get a lot more dirt from some place I'm just not sure where and the inside of this island is going to be hollow I think I'll keep that hollow for for a long time I think yeah uh, no 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 oh I hate this mouse it keeps scrolling when it doesn't have to when it's not supposed to I might just grab another mouse just out of frustration. But anyway, I'm going to continue um, laying out this. And I'll be back when I have a bit more of a tangible result. Alright, so I've been placing a bit of the dirt down. And it's nowhere near the size I want it to be. It's way too small. Well, as you can see here, I started off with placing a solid a slab of dirt and changed to using a grid like structure as you can see I turned my render distance from far to normal I thought that would make it look a lot better because it's all foggy but now I see the water below it is still being loaded uh, not really what I had in mind, so I'm putting it back to far. I mean, it could do short, but I can hardly see the other end of the island that way. So that's not really helpful. Back to far. Ah, much better. Anyway, I'll um, keep working on this. It's going to be a lot of work. And I'm not going to do that on camera. Because blazing dirt isn't really all that interesting. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time.